Hello, Bruce Fulton here. I'm going to give a quick demonstration of JavaScript interpretation in Firefox now that uh, uh, Firefox has deleted the uh, Scratchpad application. Uh, Scratchpad was a popular application. I'm not sure why they have decided to deprecate that function um, uh, that allowed you to do some JavaScript interpretation um, in real time, test it out, uh, and then uh, save your scripts. Um, that's been deprecated uh, starting with, uh, I believe, uh, Firefox um, version 72. Uh, but it's still possible to do some uh, JavaScript interpretation, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, load Firefox. Go ahead uh, and uh, take a look at your options here. What you're looking for is Web Developer. Go ahead and select that and go to your web console. That brings up your developer tools. Uh, one of the things you see here is a, um, a command line where you can enter things. I'm going to suggest you go to the um, uh, split window here. Uh, you can either click this icon or you can also go Control B uh, for the Mac. That's going to be Command B. That'll give you a split line. Um, it's also going to be helpful if you um, uh, go ahead and, and perhaps make this a little bit bigger so we can see what we're um, working with. Now here you can enter uh, uh, your JavaScript commands. Uh, the results will appear on the right. Uh, unlike Scratchpad, you do have to click Run to execute your uh, lines to interpret them. Uh, so I'm going to uh, uh, enter a simple line of JavaScript here. We're going to define a, a variable. Uh, it does offer some uh, syntax suggestions. Uh, and as you go, uh, so I'm going to enter var um, text equals, um, we're going to say hello world. We need to jump around that to uh, truncate our line. Uh, and then we're going to uh, execute text. Uh, and it offers some helpful suggestions here. So text, and then we have to click run. Uh, and we see that it executes that and prints our uh, hello world text variable here. Uh, so that should be enough to get you started. I think you can see how that works. Um, uh, I'm kind of sorry to see uh, Scratchpad go, but this does demonstrate that you can still execute and uh, test out some JavaScript uh, in the uh, Firefox um, uh, web tools uh, editor. Uh, so I hope that uh, helps, uh, possibly with some assignments or whatever. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.